Hello, I'm Arnold Bekes from the Netherlands. My experience in services covers something like 30 years or more. And the focus has always been on setting up new services, new departments, new technologies, new portfolios at the national and at the international level. My work I've done across many different departments, yeah, marketing, sales, operations, alliances, delivery, IT, business management, general management, but never my name or my function or my title was service innovation director or something like that. It was until the report, as most of you very well know, the 2008 IBM Oxford University report where I first encountered the name service innovation. And I was so happy reading that report because that was the first time that I heard it, a name, a label for what I was doing all these years. And now I said, oh, I finally, I got a home. I got, I got something like I can tell people because it's really different, difficult if you don't fit just in one box. So I really, really enjoyed that report. I said, okay, I'm, 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 I'm really what I was doing and am doing and where I'm passionate about is service innovation. And to continue on that, not, not fitting in, in just one box. And, and, and I know in, 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 in ICIP we talk about T-shaped, but I would like to call myself gate-shaped. Because if you put a couple of T's next to each other, it becomes a kind of a gate. Yeah? So if, if, if you look at the, um, the vertical bars, yeah? I got 30 years of experience in service innovation, 30 years in management and almost 40 years in coaching now. So those are my vertical bars and I will spare you the details of the horizontal bar of the gate. but. Um, well, that's been quite interesting and quite broad, which I really love and like. I totally support the need for education and resource in the area of services and service innovation. There is a huge need out there. Especially because many, many people are still educated or by way of on the job training in, in product business, and then they want to apply those practices out of the product world into the service world and they think well it's everything is exactly the same so this is what we do and then most of the time they totally miss the point and I have to explain to them that and I explain it with this kind of metaphor where I say that services is all about people and product is about product so if I want to sell a product and the product is out of stock I call the warehouse or maybe even the factory and say, hey, we need some new products. And they will usually arrive very fast. I say in services, that's totally different. Because service is people business. And as far as I know, the incubation period of people is still nine months. So there's a huge difference in the approach in product business versus service business. So I really hope that we as, a, as the SIG in education and research, we can, uh, we can work together to grow as a me and D, as a profession and to help grow and professionalize um, the thing what we love to do and that is service innovation. So I hope to meet and communicate and talk to many of you and I'm looking forward to creating huge successes for what we're trying to do. Thank you.